Once we said, ah, we're going to tell Mr. Grattan about the great Edmonton landmarks, where he could come to visit. When he comes and visits his daughter, Mrs. Gra Miss Grattan, and we did a whole bunch of places that we think were Edmonton landmarks. Look at all of them. Ah, uh, but guess what? What did we say? We said, stop. Will Mr. Grattan want to come to my house? No. No, probably not. Will he want to go to uh, your house? No. No, because that wouldn't be an interesting landmark or an important or special landmark. So what was the, what did we do here? We changed this. We said all about Edmonton. And then you X'd it. What did we change? All about special and interesting Edmonton landmarks. Exactly. So, we had to do some thinking, didn't we? Uh, uh, Sister Elaine, I yes. to show you something. All right, let's uh, check to see what Connor has to show us. Yes. Is it about this chart, Connor? This was our big question. Who would like to read this big question? Amanda. Good question. In other words, what would a visitor like to know about the special what? Landmarks. landmarks Edmonton landmarks. And we have some questions here. Who would like to read the first question? Max. Where would they like to go? Good job. Julia, can you read the second question? What will they like to see? Good job. Another one. Another question. Mackenzie. Right, and what would they like to do? Good job. And then we decided, okay, how are we going to get this information to them? What did we decide to do? A poster. You decided to do a poster. I a PowerPoint. Raise your hand if you can tell me what projects did you decide to do to show Mr. Grattan some of our great landmarks? What project did you decide to do, Matthew? You're doing a map? And what, what's a different project, Dylan? Mm, a book. Right, some people are doing books. A cache? Map. Good job. Okay, this is your job then. You need to write down on your, let's come over here. This is your job. Right over here. I'm so far, Dylan. Of? And why do you think that's a real good landmark? I think so. And so you've got your sentence about the zoo. Do you remember your sentence? Can you read that for me? So you've got one, West Edmonton Mall Water Park. You've got two, what is this? Do you know this one? You know, well then where will you get information? It's Mutart. Conservatory. Do you think, well, if you don't know anything about this, what are you going to do? Have you gone there? My mom Look at that. That was an interesting choice. Because they're very visual, right? And I like the way you did it. Well, they can be hard, but I think you're making... No, you're making it easy. I think it's because you're doing a lot of thinking. And, and, I, and I liked the way you put Edmonton in the middle, Edmonton Landmarks. And then what did you put all the way around you with? A lot of landmarks, right? So now, the landmarks that you mentioned, you're going to get pictures for? What was one of the landmarks that you mentioned? Is there a picture of Fort Edmonton? I wonder it in another place. But how about, did you put down the zoo? Yes. Well then how about trying right clicking that? Remember what we did the other day? And what are you going to go to? Jaden, how's it going? Okay, you're going to copy. Click copy. And then you're going to go to your document, right? And then right click again and paste. Yeah. 
Ah, there's the zoo. I would really like you to go to the zoo slide. I'd like to ask some questions about that. Yes, I think your idea about having the zoo and a picture of that animal is, is a good idea. But if I were a visitor to Edmonton and I said, the Valley Zoo is very cool. So if I'm Debbie coming from Mexico and I heard the word cool, you know what I would think? That it's cold at the zoo. Well, I like the word cool because that's coming from you, but you could add interesting, right? And when we were doing our PowerPoint, we said there were three things that we must do. Number one, we needed a landmark. Number two, we needed a picture. And number three, we needed something interesting, a sentence or two that would tell the visitors what they would see if they went to this special place. So you can, ex I like your sentence. You can extend it, all right? So do you think you can handle that? Or do I have to help or are you okay? You're okay. Oh, now this is interesting that you put up corn maze. Is this corn maze in Edmonton? Where is it? Near where you live, eh? Because you live in a rural community. Now, is a corn maze something that is there all the time? Is it there in the winter? So is it a, an Edmonton landmark? It's an, a great idea, but does it fit in our project? So what are you going to do with that? Do you want to take it out? So maybe you could save it somewhere else. Yes, you could, you could. As long as you have those three things on each slide. The title, the picture, and an explanation of what that landmark is, right? So do you have to do that for some of them? And you, you made a change in your PowerPoint. One thing that is not a landmark, what was it? The corn maze. So you may want to record that, that you had to change your idea about your project. And we could, we could put that, you know, we could print that corn maze. We could put it up there for rural. So great ones, how is this project making us think? How is it, how is it making us think? Yes. Um, well, well, it's, um, well, um, our brains helping us? Your brains are helping you think. But how is this project making us think? Can we just come and sit down and just draw anything? No, that's so right. how is this project making us think? Yes, Max? It's making us think because you have good ideas. You're thinking about good ideas? Information? You're, you're thinking about information? Is the information just about anything we, we know? No. No, 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 no. What is this information that we have to think about? Yes? About what? Edmonton. About Edmonton. Now, yes. Exactly. You know what you're doing with your thinking? You are making your thinking more clear. Just what Mackenzie said. She's thinking, well, what would I like to visit if I came to Edmonton? What would I like to see? So you're making your thinking, whoops, can you pick that up? You're making your thinking more clear. And is there anything else what, that this project is making us do? Yes. You have to find words, the correct words, because you're from Mexico, aren't you? And you have to find good Canadian words or English words to describe your project. What else are we doing in this project? Have we, have you changed your thinking? No. Yeah. I, I know some people here have changed their ideas as we were working. What are some changes that you made 
in your thinking while you were doing this project. Campbell. I decided I wanted to add more things. All right, and how did that change your thinking? All right, so we. All right. You can't do everything, can you? You just got here, you're a new student. But I really liked the choice you made in your project. No one had thought of doing a web, and that was a good choice. So you helped us, you helped our whole class see that we can gather information in a different way. Did all of you have to do the same kind of project? No. Did I say, all right, grade ones, we're all doing this? No. 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 You all got to choose. Was that a good idea, to yeah. choose your own projects? Yes. Yeah. I, I, why, why, why would it be a good idea to choose your own project? Sure. What would it, why would you think it's a good idea? Thing and you don't like it, that's not fair. No, it's... You want to do a map then you'd be copying. I know. So every, you did a map, didn't you? And you've done some terrific ideas. Yeah, me too. And so this way, our visitors, Mr. Grattan, will be able to see so many different ways of seeing Edmonton. Yeah. 